Welcome back into the Sports Source, the segment of our program brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. For 47 years, the Haynes family has been protecting area homes and businesses from insects, pests, and the diseases they carry. Take my advice, try Southeast Termite and Pest Control, learn why I use them in my home. These are good, honest folks who do a great job at what they do. Southeast Termite and Pest Control, remember the name, that's who you need to call. I want to tell you that we've got coming up today special overtime segment. Uh, follow me on Twitter and I'll tell you when it's posted at sportsource.tv this afternoon. Today we're going to spend about 15, 20 minutes discussing the outlook after signing day of Tennessee's place in the SEC East moving forward. Not just this year, but where do they stand? And we're going to take a look back since Missouri joined the conference. It's not pretty where Tennessee stands in the no. SEC East. If you're thinking, well, we're first tier. No, you're not. <laughs> you, you need to take a look at this. That'll be on our overtime segment. Okay, uh, there were a couple of other comments that Jeremy Pruitt made this week that uh, one I believe in, one I said last year and the year before regarding something Butch Jones had said. I love them, and then we got one more I want these guys to comment on. Let's show you first what he said about uniforms. The Smoky Grays are <laughs> bye-bye. Well, I'm going to tell you this. When I grew up, when I associated Tennessee, I associated orange and white. I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all, but to me, when you play a football game, what color your uniforms are don't really matter. So when I think of Tennessee, I think of orange and white. I don't think you need no gimmicks. I agree, you don't need no gimmicks. Uh, and in terms of, I, I do think it's amusing though, it doesn't matter what colors your uniforms are, but I think orange and white. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I agree with him on that one, so the grays are gone, you don't need any gimmicks. Next one, I love this one, the next quote. Pruitt was asked if any leaders had emerged uh, on the team yet. And I said this last year when there was so much talk about a player-led team and we got our leadership council. His comment, nah, nah, we'll be the leaders on the team. The coaching staff will be the leaders. <laughs> Amen. Who is it? And I asked this last year. The athletic department is paying millions to someone. That's who should be the leaders. I love that answer. Guys, I got one more comment. I want you guys to comment on his comment. And that was, he felt the best form of PR is winning. That hit home with a lot of people who know that Butch Jones tried to do the marketing thing. And I, early on, I don't think that was a problem. It got to be a problem when the product went down the, down the tubes. Your thoughts on his comment that the best PR is winning and just him saying the right things. It's easy to talk, but do you feel he's saying the right things? Your, your thoughts? Yeah, I think definitely with the PR uh, doesn't matter as much as winning. I, I think that goes to the point he, he said at the end of his program in Nashville this week, uh, the sign day celebration, I'm not great at this. I'm not a public speaker, really. I'll get better at it over time, but hopefully we'll be good in the ways that really matter. And that's what he's looking at. He thinks, hey, these guys can like me all they want, but if we don't win, that's, that's going to be the thing that makes or breaks us. And that's, that's true. And I think as Tim's saying the right thing all the time, he, he gets it. He's not going to try to spice things up too much. He's just going to say what's on his mind. Guys? I think fans have felt like things have been spun up to them too much too recently, much. and they just want to hear about winning football games, and that's what Jeremy Pruitt's talking about. It's going to take some time, but that's what he's talking about right now. That's what fans want to hear. Amen. Uh, <laughs> they, like Josh said, they, they feel like they've been spun too much and, and heard too much PR, and, and they want to be about winning, but I think a lot of there's a lot of evidence that winning is not going to come as fast as fans would no. like, so let's see how they hang in with, with Jeremy's honesty uh, in the coming year or two. Now, now, 20 seconds. Jeremy. Yeah, this isn't about catchphrases. This is about the old-fashioned lump rolling your sleeves up and going to work. It's a no-nonsense approach, and, and I, I, I applaud that. I'd give that a standing ovation. Or a seated ovation. As, <laughs> well, as if I could. Well, I'm right tall enough. I'll do it like this. There you go. All right. Uh, thanks to all these guys. Uh, thanks to you for watching today. Thanks for watching every week. Thanks for supporting our sponsors. I, there are times when I wish I could show you our ratings on screen to say thank you. That's Ill We can't do it due to Nielsen rules, but thank you for watching. Uh, uh, give me an email, John at Mr. SEC, to join our Vol Storytime event. Really want you to do that. See you next Sunday. Sports Source is brought to you by Fast Freight with Heather Whiteside Art now available.